Ravens have hired Kenneth Williams. That's some good news right there. Baltimore Ravens code. Purple trim, big body, old school for low. So, we come on Super Bowl Sunday. I see breaking news. Ravens hired Kenneth Williams. So, and he's going to be the passing coordinator, which is very good. Everybody knows a lot of Ravens flock. We do not care for Greg Roman. So, with this news, I feel that it could be Harbs, but I believe the majority of it is Eric DaCosta sending a message that not only obviously we need help with the passing and that's what Kenneth Williams is going to do he's going to help with the passing um, game specialist but that's his position but I feel that he could take Greg Roman's job he could become the offense coordinator and who is Kenneth Williams Kenneth Williams per is a personal coach to two of the best wide receivers in the game. Number one, Devontae Adams. We know what he can do. Out there in Green Bay, the dude is a beast. Number two, Cheetah himself, Tyreek Hill. But he also coaches Sammy Watkins as well. Those two I just named right off the back, one and two, are top five wide receivers in the game. So, that could literally help us out a lot for us. Our passing game plays and everything like that could become offense coordinator, like I said. Hoping, hoping. But this is some great news to 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 see because I've been very upset. I've been saying constantly. Uh, Harps need to go and we need to hire Eric but with this right here this possibly might could change my mind but it just matters to see how it goes because we know Harps is stubborn but he learned as well he's he's learned his, his pretty much his lesson throughout the years when we had Ed we had Ray things such as that so he could be developing even more into a better coach and then not just stuck in his stubborn way so this could be like a step one to improving himself as well with just sitting back with us not playing on Super Bowl Sunday just kind of sitting back and just looking overthinking looking at just watching how everything played out throughout this, this year, previous year that could be why he, he wanted to do this move as well as well Eric DaCosta wanted to do this move but this is some very good exciting news I can't wait to see this man work with Hollywood with Dev with Porsche Boykin if he stays at his position should be tight in but still that right there is <clears throat> There's some good news. And also, you know, I just mentioned Boykin. Just a little, just a little probably tight end, but I'm just kind of a little joking with that. But you never know his body of frame. He's not that fast. He could be like a waller, but um, Boykin, he really don't drop them passes. Every time he threw his way, he pretty much caught it. Just remembering his route and stuff was some of his problems. Remember them plays. But, man... This was really surprising. Really, really surprising. So we're going to see where this comes out. We're going to see where this goes. So y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm very excited. I, I've watched a couple of this dude's um, videos on his Twitter. Following him now. But man, he he made some... He was showing uh, on one play. He was showing Sammy Watkins with the Bruce Lee reference of Be Like Water. Water flows pretty much 
when the wherever water flows and it's going to it, it goes full force. And that's pretty much what he was telling Sammy Watkins. Oh, I just, uh, it just sucks. We just got to wait so long, so long. Hopefully they put up, we put out some footage of some of him working out with the wide receivers and Lamar and stuff. Lamar be with uh, Palmer. That's uh, Jordan Palmer, I believe. That's his name. Things are looking up for the Ravens. Things are looking up. Even though we're not playing in this uh, this Super Bowl, but that could be a blessing in disguise.